things before we get started now. Um, and I, I read, read up on this today, and I, so I have to do a little bit of business here. Because you are graduating from an ACF accredited culinary institute, you've, okay, big deal, big deal, exemplar rating, for $85, you can receive your certified culinarian or certified cook status that is good for three years. At the end of the three years, you would have to join the ACF and you would have to maintain certain continuing education or community project involvement, but you maintain that accreditation. So as soon as you graduate from here, you can apply for that for $85 and you can have that accreditation and you can put that CCC after your name, which can really mean something on your resume when you go and apply for a job. So that's a very positive thing. So I figured I, I just wanted to make sure I, I would mention that before I give the mic over to Mr. K. We're going to go through the faculty and, and, and just wish you really good luck. We're all very proud of you. We're, we're very fortunate to have had you in the program. It's our blessing, and we really appreciate that. So here you are, Mr. K. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's everybody doing? I personally want to thank all of you for making my job probably the best job I've ever had in my life. And you guys made it worthwhile for me to get up in the morning and for the first nine years of those ten years to drive over an hour and a half each way from Monmouth County to be a part of your education, no matter how minimal or uh, involved I was in that process. Um, I want to give a special shout out to the table right in front of me, the hospitality management table. Thank you so much. We of course have a very special place in my heart. So um, I want to just say a few things before I officially send you guys off. First order of business, how many of you are walking in graduation? Raise your hand. Bring a snack. Yes. Bring a snack. You will be there for a while. Yes, small water bottle. Stickers for that we prepared. Second, listen up, please. This is important stuff here. Um, there's a saying that we have in Armenian. It's a very, very easy saying, and it's partsatsir partsatsir, which means rise up and bring everyone else up with you. So I've always firmly believed in that, and I think. Many of you should follow that credo in life and in your careers. When you graduate, always hire people that are Hudson graduates. <laughs> Keep that in mind, because you know they've gone through the same rigorous preparation that you have. Okay? And just never get down on yourselves. Always keep going forward, because you have so many choices of industry to go into in our business. Don't go into an a la carte restaurant and think that's it, if you don't like it. There's so many more things. Now, in keeping with custom, I always have a surprise. Nobody raise your hand, nobody say anything. And when I'm done with the question, you guys can raise your hand. What is my favorite word? Documentate. Documentation. Come on up here. There's, this bag contains different Hudson County Community College memorabilia. There's about a dozen stickers that say Culinary Arts Institute, share them with your tickets. But we're not done. Nice coffee mug, retail price ten ninety five. I won't lie to you, this was given to me Saturday. I don't like mugs like this, but it's brand new. It's Raise your hand again. Don't blurt it out. Where did I work as a cashier for over two years that I make fun of all the time? Panera. Panera. That's just too bad. I missed out. Thank you guys. Good luck. I know some of you through Mrs. M as I come in and eat with you guys, and um, I see you know hallways and I talk to you and just hit you on a personal level. So thank you for allowing me to have that experience with you. Um, I wish you much success. Um, I just want to give a couple of words of advice to you. Always follow your dreams. Always follow your heart. Um, find your passion. Once you find your passion, you work for free, and that's that's uh, a wonderful feeling. 
So I wish you the best of luck. Um, I hope to see you in the future. And please remind that HEC is always your home. Um, unfortunately, this is Mr. Hamer is going to be taking a year sabbatical from the school. Um, it's not by his choice. It has to do with just rules, regulations, government, tenure, statutory tenure. Um, we can blame the past governor on it if anybody wants to do that. So um, can we just, Mr. Hamer is going to be so missed. He is such an affable, important part of who we are at this college. So can we just give him another round of applause? schedules, you go to school at night, you go to school during the day, some of you have families, you really push yourself, so keep that up. Team player, that's very important. Some of you have your own little sections in the kitchen and you just want to, this is me and that's it, but you have to include everyone else. Today's day and age, you have to be a good team player. And flexible today. It's not like the old days where you just have to keep doing what you're doing. Changes happen every day, and you have to be more flexible. So best of luck. I'll miss all of you. We're always here for you. Have a great graduation. I, I won't be there this year. The first year that I'm missing it, my daughter's graduating the same day. So I think she'll be mad if I can go to her graduation. So <laughs> then, you ready? I just want to say congratulations. Give yourselves a lot of credit. You did it. It wasn't easy. I know you had to be here on spe special times. Meanwhile, you had to work. Uh, we appreciate everything you did. And you got here, meaning you're going to graduate. Uh, just remember, you are graduating from a wonderful college. You had excellent teachers. It is really my pride to say I work amongst these talented people that I work with. I am blessed. So you should feel very, very honored that they taught you. And please remember, everybody said you are, we are your family. We are, and you know it. I don't need to say it specifically. You all know, if you weren't my children, you, I wouldn't be shouting at you like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I tell you off, I kiss you, I hug you, you know what I mean? And all that is because we wanted to get you here where you are today. Be very proud of where you come from. I have no doubt I'm going to hear from you and you are going to be great. Please reach for the stars. Nothing is impossible. Good luck. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there. I feel super emotional today. So I'm just going to keep this uh, nice and short and sweet for all of you. Um, it's been a pleasure, this class. Um, 
you guys have left me with some great memories. Aww. And good luck. Oh. Jeff Payne, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jeff service, good food, and, and make us proud. And always come back and say, you know, you did it and give back. All right. Okay. Who wants to speak first? I'll start. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. So hi guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kaylin. Um, honestly, it's been like the best two years of my life. Amen. I learned a lot from this school. I met a lot of good people. Shout out to my twin. She's staring right at me. Very nervous at the moment. Um, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for all the chefs to help me out. Um, so I'm gonna miss you guys. Chef Payne almost made me cry, so I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna have to laugh. But thanks for all the support. Thanks somebody else. Answer. Let me give. I just want to find an example. I asked them, "When does class end?" 
when it ends. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm really grateful for the people that have come so far to meet the chefs, the students here, for you know everyone's experience. Uh, well, the kind of group here, and I kind of learned so much from you guys as well. I learned a lot, and um, I want to emphasize that in this field as well. But um, as far as from that is, um, I would just want to wish everybody luck. Um, I want to wish everybody a really good career, make the best of everything, uh, take advantage of everything that you have, and push forward. Good luck. say that this program is uh, probably um, definitely definitely a life-changing uh, was very good uh, very good experience um, as soon as I came out of here from high school I really didn't take any downfall it was just going up from here from jobs to life to the school in general and all these chefs are definitely amazing everybody definitely put a smile on my face chef Kazan <laughs> definitely the man always eating his butter <laughs> 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 Chef O'Malley, didn't have Chef Long Talk, but I did sneak in on a couple of her classes, so <laughs> I learned a lot from everybody, and uh, I appreciate you guys all. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Chef. Okay. Everybody knows me as Bonnie. Sabrina. Not Sabrina. Not Sabrina. Not Sabrina. Not Sabrina. Not Sabrina. I think you guys said the majority of the stuff that I wanted to say, but um, thanks for being my friend. I'm not going to say it. No, no, no. 
Wait, everybody, how, if they wait till I get up to heck. I'm getting so this, this is a tribute to my teachers. Uh, I've heard it said that people come in Torah eyes for a reason, being something we must learn. And we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we let and we help them in return. I know I who I am today because I knew you. I'm changed for good. Thank you. I just want to thank one person and one person only. A person that pushed me every day. He was there with me in the struggle, texting me every day, do your homework, do your homework, like my dad. And that's a joke. Thank you so much for being there for me and pushing me. I'll just be a regular line cooker. Thank you, Chef, for all the chefs that were always there for me, all the guys, friends, everybody that I met here. Shout out to everybody. That's the 18. You already know. We're going to party. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so kind of piggybacking on everyone, what everybody else said, uh, I just want to say this building, like when you when I walk into this building, this building, I kind of feel like I'm at home. Like Mr. Maruzzi was my first teacher that I had in this building and he used to always say like let your free flag fly <laughs> and it's like we're our own little special group of weird people like when I walk into other buildings it, I think they're weird <laughs> and I really wish I could have had all of my classes in this building but uh, I can't say enough for the faculty you know even if I didn't have your class you would help me Mr. K helped me out uh, Mr. Hamer, never had a class with him, but he was always there to answer a question for me. Uh, Chef oh. Payne kind of brought me to the dark side with baking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Maruzzi, I kind of find myself saying one of his one-liners. I was like, I had too many classes with this guy. I'm in your brain. Chef O'Malley always playing for something in class, but yeah, I knew it was She was did it. <laughs> <laughs> I've developed a lot of relationships here. Mrs. M, Dean Dillon, everybody, Chef Kazam, my my classmates, especially Anya. No. <laughs> uh, but I do. <laughs> they definitely has the number one spot in my life for being annoying. So <laughs> you won that. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but thank you, everybody, for everything that you've done. I look forward to seeing what we do afterwards. And, the relationship that we foster and how they grow from teacher and student to friend and mentor and mentee. So, like I told you all, you can't get rid of me. You got me for life. So I got all your numbers and I'm gonna be using it. Uh, thank you. Yes. Hello. Hi. Um, I want to dedicate my speech to Mr. Hammer because he's leaving and because he has been such a great teacher. Um. has so many students a semester a year a day but a student just has a few and you've been such a great teacher um i was very confused when i first started hospitality and you made it very easy to want to continue doing this mr k has also been such a great teacher and thank you and i'm so proud of everybody even if i don't know you i'm proud of you guys and congratulations <laughs> You don't know me, my name is V for the hospitality crew because for the most part I know most of the culinary people. Um, I'm so happy that I changed my major from criminal justice to culinary. I, I love you guys. We love you too. Monica, Monica, Monica. Everyone who I had PK with Chef Ben, um, Chef Pop. He's not here, but I have choice words for him. <laughs> I have choice words for him. His fake attitude. <laughs> With your fake attitude, Chef Puck, you'll see this one day. No, but I really love you guys, Miss M. You're like my grandma. My grandma. She's only 20. You mean your big sister? My big sister. My big sister. <laughs> <laughs> he's not here, and he said he would be talking about reduce, reduce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is he going to be here for graduation? Yeah. Will he be there? Okay. Right. Well, I really am happy that I met all you guys. You guys are definitely my family, and I love you guys. Aww. Aww. My name is Joel, not Joel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say I had a wonderful time here. Oh, I appreciate the staff that I had. <laughs> um, yeah, I really did enjoy myself.
time here, though. It's like a second home for me as well. And I just want to say congrats to everybody, even if you don't know me. Um, what can I say? Well, I honestly don't have words to express how it is. I really feel, other than the fact that I can really say I'm really thankful for everything that I've learned from you guys and done to you guys. <laughs> 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 Y'all have those burns forever, thank you. Out of the short things I can remember, number one was definitely burning champagne. Oh. Yeah, you know. Why did you do that? He admitted on camera. She was there and I didn't know, so I just, you know. You know. No. No. Well, hey, okay. so I did that champagne for Chef Sam. I kind of forgot where I put the sauce. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> got mad at me and I had to redo it and I messed it up the second time. So, uh, that was that. Um, for Chef Long Talk, I kind of misplaced the dough the first time. <laughs> and I had to redo it quickly. So, that. It's all good. Hey, I'm just saying off what I could remember right now. So basically, you had two successful years, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but out of all of this, it's because of those small things that also help me remember what it is each one of you talk, whether we're close or we're not, you know? Uh, I'm very weird, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very weird. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 If there's one thing that I've learned like, throughout my entire life, from, oddly enough, not culinary, but martial arts as well, from the fact that whatever you give out will always come back to you twice as much without you realizing it. I came in here not knowing anyone at all. And I came in not being scared of every chef. Let me tell you, the first day I came in, Chef Puck made me cry. He destroyed my life and I came at 4 in the morning for him. <laughs> But it's because he accepted me even after that, that I came up. No one knows, but he used to train me up more than one. And I used to come for a class that I didn't even have. But it was because of that that he was so tough on me that I chose not to give up. Yeah. And even though I messed up a lot, you know, everyone here and there, a lot. Even though I messed, I messed up a lot, I'm still here because of all of you. Yeah. The chefs are still here. That too. Hopefully, you know, Chef Payne's always here. But that's as far as I can spit out at the moment. I can't spit out anything else other than I'm really thankful to all of you. Very thankful to all of you. And Miss Sam, of course, is you're the best. You know, the best. You know, the best. You know, the best. over here I hope the same success um, I'm just really grateful and I'm really appreciative towards everyone and especially towards the faculty chef Payne has taught me a lot about uh, empathy and her, uh, paying close attention to detail chef Bensky um, he really inspires me I, I love the way he works like just seeing him in his work mode really makes me want to achieve that one day and hopefully inspire others the way he inspires me um, chef O'Malley Chef O'Malley has taught me, like, has made me fall, fall more in love with Garma uh, Jai. I love the arts in it. It's a part of the culinary arts. Um, my peers as well. I spent a lot of time with my peers. They've given, they've given me many, many different experiences. They've shown me character development and what I would like to kind of be and what I wouldn't like to be in a sense. And where I would like to steer myself. Um, so, so, I just want to say I wish the best of luck to all of you and I hope that we can all achieve the same success one day and just remember that we came through here at this school and we started it together so no matter where we go you know we're still family pretty much everyone else says. Yeah.
Hi, my name's Patricia. Oh, she's hey, so Patty. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. I know a lot of people were talking about family, and I think when I first came in here, I like didn't expect that to happen, even though I've heard it from everyone. Um, and I'm really, really grateful because it's very hard for me to really invest in people. Um, but I just felt, with the faculty, with the staff, with the, all of my teachers and professors, I felt so invested in, and I want to thank you for that. Um, I really felt cared for, got advice even outside of class, and just you guys telling me all your stories um, is something that I'll, <laughs> I'll always remember. Um, and thank you to you guys for just making it fun to learn here. Um, I definitely did gain a family. I gained aunts and uncles and like grandpas and brothers and sisters. I gained a sister that I know. Okay, enough with the grandpa and the grandpa. <laughs> I gained a sister I know will be in my life forever, which I just didn't expect to get when I was here. And, um, yeah, just thank you so much. Thank you very much. I learned from each one of you. <laughs> Placing the way <laughs> 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 uh, Well, thank you very much for uh, coming to our school. I really enjoyed teaching each one of you. Um, I just, um, uh, I'm not wishing you luck uh, because I don't believe in luck. I believe you work hard, you're going to get what you put in it, you're going to get out of this business. This business is hard, this business is not um, for everybody. Why? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 it, is, it is a hard business. I uh, just hope they take it seriously. And um, best of uh, wishes. Okay? Go get them. You're the best. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Thanks. Michelle here. Hey. Russell. Yeah. Hi. Hi. After finally two years, it's Rochelle. Oh. Congratulations, Show everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't see anyone because I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still like everyone is looking at me and it's making me nervous. So, you see a polar thank you all for that. Look out for the Establish, okay? I just wanted to tell um, Jabensky something, but he's not here. Say like, to the camera. Okay, Jabensky. <laughs> Like, he's always double dipping the stuff. I'm like, the first, the first time I saw it, I was like, should I eat that stuff? It's so gross. Like, he does that every time. Like, he just pulls in and then, like, he just falls. And then he's so big and he puts it on. Okay, I should love it. And then I feel like I'm going to take it down. Erase that part of the tape, please. I'll take that out and go to the tape. Okay, I'll take that out and go to the tape. No, I thought it was going to be like, I love Chef Bensky. Oh, <laughs> she ate it, didn't she? Yeah, and Chef Paul, I have a, I don't know about him, but for me, I have a love of him. I love him, I love him, and then the next day, he gives me reason not to like him anymore. And again, the next day, I'm like, oh, I adore this guy. Like, you know? And Mr. Uh, Mrs. M, I dressed for you today. He's like, I don't, thank you, I don't dress like so girly. But she's always like, etiquette girl, like, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always sitting in the class like this, you just put your feet down. Okay? Like, you know, like all this girl stuff, like to be like elegant. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. And like, um, Dean Dillon, I, I find it really cool, like, oh, like your Dean, like, he can remember you, all your names. Like, I don't think like other departments they do that. But thank you. And Mr. K, like I've taken his class like three or four times already. I don't know, like I've taken any taken anyone's class like repeating every time, like every time class. But I, I find him so cool, like every every topic he's, he teach you, he has stories to tell you. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> yes, like he can just write a book. <laughs> like, and thank you, Shane. Like, Thank you for teaching me how to read all the bread. I think, yeah, I think it's so cool, like, just, like, it's so confusing that she makes it really easy. I can't see Mr. Muruzi is not crying today. I thought she, he would be crying already, but he is, like, so cool today. Thank you, Chef O'Malley, and you're the best. Thank you, I wear gloves when I cook. <laughs> That. I, I just wanted to tell Shabensky that. And all the chefs are like, I have 
so much to say. Like, I just, I, I think I have to write something down. But then no, we don't. Let that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm Sorry, I talked too much. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'll put it down here.
and I forget my English when I speak. <laughs> that, that I really want to fly. I tried to do it in Russia, but it was like all very crazy. Um, documentation, everything was so hard. And they have been 29 years old, you already old for a flight attendant. But here, I really want to do that. And thank you, Mr. Henner, for being an inspiration for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Tara. I'm a hospitality student. And uh, uh, I'm not really good at public speaking either. But uh, I'm going to miss most. I think I had most of you as a, some of you as a teacher. And I uh, will miss the ones that I had, like <laughs> Professor Hamer. He took us on a nice trip to Washington, D.C. We all had, with our class, we all had a great time. And Mr. K for all his funny stories and <laughs> documentation. <laughs> and uh, Miss M for reminding me he's the proper way of holding a wine glass. <laughs> and. Uh, and I wish you all a very uh, uh, happy, um, <laughs> I wish you all well with graduation and hopefully I'll maybe pop around in around here after I graduate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, um, I was not, I did not have the pleasure of teaching all of you. I think I only taught like two people in this room. But anyway. Um, you all said thank you to us for teaching you, but I'd like to thank you because as much as we taught you, you taught me a lot as well. Thank you very much. Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to wish you much success in the world and continue to learn. And most importantly, please give back to the community. Okay? So stay passionate, work hard, play hard, and rest hard. <laughs> As you know, I've been here forever. Uh, it did take a while, a long, long while, but I finally made it. You know, we've been doing this now for roughly 35 years. No, 35. Oh yeah, 35, 35 years, and and every year we. It, it becomes more and more emotional, especially for the old timers like Chef O'Malley. <laughs> because he's, do you know he's a senior faculty member in our division? He started here when he was five years old. He always fell open the door. No, but but you have with the faculty that you have here, you have the most amazing faculty. And, and I heard some of the faculty say that thank you because we learn from you. Um, we really do learn from you. And even though I don't get to teach now right now, I do teach sometimes, but, um, and I will take a course occasionally, but it, it, it's really, you, the greatest thing about being in education and teaching individuals such as yourselves is it keeps us very young and it keeps us very current. So we really want to thank you for becoming a part of our lives as much as you appreciate becoming a part, us becoming a part of your life. So I just really want to thank all of you. And I'd like everybody, before Mrs. M gets here to make her Baked Alaska, because I don't think I can stay for the Baked Alaska. I have to be somewhere at 6 o'clock. Uh, could everybody just get up and give each other a round of applause? Yeah. We are the best. We are the best. Thank you, everybody, because you make us move. Okay. Now you're gonna go. Wait, wait, careful. Slowly, and you're gonna the time and go down.
Nice, beautiful. This is a perfect, perfect dome. Uh, you know, it's like a porn fire. It's awesome. <laughs> Let's give her a big hand.